Thank you to Cringe God over on Patreon for requesting this fantasy match. If you'd like to request your own match for me to make, head over to my Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash No Limits Wrestling. The link is in the description. Well, in all my time commentating these matches, I don't think I've ever seen such a mismatch. But we're going to see. It is a David versus Goliath story. Chad Gable is about to go one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has proven himself a dominant athlete in both MMA and professional wrestling. But tonight, he is facing an Olympian. Although I don't think a medal in the Olympics is going to save you from the beating at the hands of the Beast Incarnate. But again, I just might be skeptical. We shall see. But on paper, you have to say Lesnar's going to win this one, surely. Well, I'll tell you one person who's going to have exception to that analysis. And that is going to be the man who is ready, willing and Gable. Chad Gable, ready to go one-on-one -on -one with Brock Lesnar. Now, let's not forget, Chad Gable is a collegiate champion in wrestling in freestyle he went to the olympics for goodness sake but when you're up against the former ufc champion in brock lesnar does that even come into play look at him he's confident he is very confident and i'll give him that but maybe i'll have to eat my words let's see and the match is underway and lesnar gets taken behind by gable and look at lesnar he doesn't even seem to be phased again going from behind and lesnar Trying to wrestle Gable. I don't know how wise this is, though. After all, Gable's been in the Olympics. And again, look at this. He's out-wrestling Brock Lesnar. Chad Gable is out-wrestling Brock Lesnar. Look at this. And now a roll-through. But a kick out. And Gable with the close. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And a snap belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Lesnar. My goodness. And the power of Lesnar on display right now. Again. Going for a German suplex. And a second. And the third one flips Chad Gable onto his stomach. Well, it was a hot start from Gable. But instead, oh my god, look at this though, the gorilla press. I think Gable reversed it into a Hurricane Rana. Sending Lesnar over the top. And moves out of the way of the spear. Brock Lesnar hits his head on the steel stairs. And Gable may have a shot. Look at this. He's found his opening. Oh, but the crossbody was caught. Now it's an F5 coming. No, DDT. DDT on the floor and Lesnar is stunned. Lesnar cannot believe what he has just seen. And Chad Gable with a moonsault from the top rope. Gable with a moonsault crashes down onto Brock Lesnar unbelievable well Lesnar on the back foot I don't think any of us expected to see this the moonsault from the top Gable he has to do this has to keep on Lesnar with the high risk manoeuvres as he's doing there you see the missile drop kick from the top wiping out Lesnar and Lesnar is stunned he cannot believe what Lesnar oh my though Went for the clothesline, but it didn't phase him. And Brock Lesnar clattering Gable with that hard Western Lariat. Turned him inside out. And now Lesnar's going into beast mode. A couple of shots in the Kimura. And it may be academic from here. Is Gable going to tap out? He's very good on the ground game, but is he going to tap? No! A roll through pin! But a kick out. And a Norman like suplex. Another pin. And another kick out. Now Lesnar wants to hit a power bomb with the ankle lock. The ankle lock in the centre of the ring. Is Gable going to make Lesnar tap out here? No, a roll through. And now back to the German position and throws him overhead. What insane power from the Beast who picks him up and delivers. And F5. No! Gable rolling through for the Chaos Theory! And Lesnar kicks out 
at two and three eighths. My goodness. The chaos theory out of the F5. Have you ever seen such a slick counter from a wrestler? Look at this again. He got out of the F5 and then hit this brutal looking chaos theory right on the top of his head. But that wasn't enough. What more will it take? Chad Gable knows he's going to the top rope. Is this wise? Go for a top rope moonsault, but look at the power of Lesnar catches him for the F5. And Brock Lesnar defeats Chad Gable. A slick transition, insane power, and Brock Lesnar puts an end to Gable's hopes. But my goodness, it was it was very close. There were numerous times in that match where I thought Gable had him beat. We'll take a look at the replay now. First of all, the DDT on the floor, out of the F5. Then, the moonsault. That clothesline sent Gable back down to earth. And I thought that ankle lock was going to do it. Then, got out of the F5, hitting a Chaos Theory, rolling German suplex. That didn't do it. But then this, caught in mid-air from the moonsault. And the F5 was enough to secure the win for the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. But Lesnar shook. You can see it in his eyes. He knew he was a split second away from being upset by the Olympian. Well, he celebrates as if it was a dominant performance, but I will give credit to Chad Gable. I wrote him off at the start of this matchup, but he proved me and everyone in this arena wrong when he put on a hell of a performance. Lesnar may have won the battle, but Gable looks strong in defeat. Thank you once again to Cringe God over on Patreon for requesting this fantasy match. If you'd like to request your own match for me to make, head over to my Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash no limits wrestling. The link is in the description.